So then, welcome back everybody. Today I'm with Dalmont, Yelby and Zerenica and we have Ghetto Dexter here in his ship for this lineup review. So first of all, what is the name of the ship? This is the Chikara. It's uh, named after my daughter. I have a sister ship which is being built called the Tiana, which is named after my own daughter. Nice. Yeah, the sister ship is going to be similar in shape except for not a carrier, just a uh, I'm just taking a little look around all the logical areas of the vessel. There's quite a lot yeah. going on. Yeah, the um, logic system that I have set up on board for this is um, currently there's uh, two active. Um, one is designed for docked cores, docked to it, so uh, basically like an emergency power system. Um, to drain pet, uh, drain a dock set of batteries or a separate core for, you know, uh, extra reserves of power for when you may be in combat situations. Um, and the other dot, uh, logic system that I have uh, installed right now is the push drives, which is two uh, push uh, logic systems working on basically modeled ion and and uh, they run and cause the ship to move forward. I think only one side has the lighting sequence logic up at the moment, but the other one uh, doesn't. Okay. And I don't have them on right now, otherwise the ship will start flying away. Yeah. Yeah, and um, the last logic system, which isn't fully enabled, it's uh, it's not set up with the timers and stuff as I had before, but it's just set up to basically sh uh, demonstrate how it works. Okay. Which is a um, escape pod um, on a fighter launch seat system. I believe that's the one you're looking at right now. With yeah. The, yeah, the escape pod you're looking at right now with the uh, damage beam behind it. So basically, uh, I press the button and it should hopefully launch it out. I'm not sure it may flip about inside and not come out because I actually have something too large to that that's not really the size for it but your core would work perfectly okay so just, yeah try it yeah let me try with this thing button haha uh -huh, it's gonna work uh no yeah it no no this is a little bit too big uh if somebody wants to move that out of the way yeah hey, i'll put myself in the way yeah and dock your core onto it well, won't I be too small, though? No, you won't be too small. I'll do it. Okay, I'll watch you, Albie. Albie. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, you ready? Yes. Okay, go back up here and reset. Don't press anything. Uh, must still be charging. Hold on. That's the one thing I can say. The uh, laser systems, once you hook it to logic, you can't tell its uh, charge timing. Oh, right, yeah, just no, you don't get a timer. I know what you mean. Right, I'm try again. Whoa! Awesome. Whoa, that works. Well done, mate. Also, yeah, kudos so on the wedging under here. That's some really... It's hard to see it because it's all black, but there's some really nice wedging going on under there. Thank you. Yeah, definitely interested to keep following the development on this. It's uh, looking absolutely fantastic, man. Just yeah, there's a, see there's all a... the details put in place. I did have one question. I don't know if it was mentioned or, or not. We are making a internalized power drain logic system. Yeah, that's actually all the way to the rear of the ship. If you uh, follow the logic basically along the backbone of the ship, uh, it'll go all the way back to where there's a uh, docked core. If you look at the most rearmost core of the ship, that's actually a docked uh, ship which is being hit by our power drain beams. Just before this update, for some reason, it was working, and now the power drain beams shoot right through it. This is my first time activating it since the update, but it's, it's shooting through docked entities again, so I think that's going to be simple. Ah. Uh. 
Yeah, but normally it would uh, help. I, when I had the system, uh, everything hooked up with internal weapons, it actually uh, allowed me to be able to use the uh, capital ship missiles. But when I had it turned off, I didn't have that ability to use the missiles because I didn't have enough power. So that was basically my uh, theory test of, you know, could it be possible to have a uh, dock entity uh, attached to your ship to be able to allow you to do certain things that you normally can't. Um, that, I guess, proved itself there. Well, who knows, man. But it's certainly impressive to see it. I love the beams just firing down the ship though, that's great. Yeah, I sort of wanted to, to be, uh, this entire build was more or less uh, to be sort of a role play ship and have the look of if you were on some futuristic starship with all the logic running down one long call. And this main call right here is going to be like a gravity access tunnel, which will hook up to other ones to send you to the common tower I love how much room there is everywhere as well. There's just everywhere you look, there's just corridors to hangars and hangars I to built, corridors yeah, and corridors to launch ships, pads. <laughs> it's yeah, great. I built my ships with uh, the idea of getting from one place to another place from any place. While at the same time trying to make it uh, large enough and not confusing enough for human players, but large enough for NPC players once they are fully implemented. I try and think of, you know, everything that's in the game now, what can be implemented in the future, and how the direction of things are going, and, you know, what's being developed and created. So I try and, as far as with that, like, plan ahead with design my ship. So I, I know space is one thing that the NPCs are going to need to move around properly through doorways and walls. The so stealth, think, that stealth yacht and con tower is awesome as well. Well, yeah, certain basically, angles, it'll just disappear on you. Just make sure that you bring this back for another update when it's more complete. We're going to have to move on to the next ship though, because we are running low on time, and I've got loads of people to see. So, thanks a lot, Tom. Yeah, thanks very much for bringing it along, and uh, you you twitching at me with your cloaking <laughs> device. He is. <laughs> So yeah, thanks ever so much, and uh, thanks to everyone watching, and I will see you all next time.